Hello, everybody. Buenas tardes. We are so excited for another interview of a beautiful, wonderful emprendedora in our local community. We're here to welcome Cindy Arechiga. Did I say that right? Yes, you sure did. All right. Welcome, Cindy. And Cindy is the owner of Ruby Lou Boutique. So we want to welcome you. Yes, no, thank you very much. I'm really honored to be here and really excited to share uh, like my story. So thank you very much for having me. Awesome. Well, um, we want to know all about Cindy. I love, love, love your business. So follow you on Instagram. We've seen you at um, different pop-ups. And I just, I love not just your product, but I love like your content creation and how you deliver such a vulnerable and authentic side of your business, which is you as the owner and how you are as a mother and as a business owner and trying to kind of just put all together. So we'll, we'll get into all of that through the interview, but I just want to preface it with the fact that we're just so honored to have you on our platform here at Bayya to be able to highlight your story. And so with that, let's start just a little bit about, tell me a little bit about you. Like who is Cindy? What do you want us to know about you and um, your business? So who Cindy is, um, <laughs> she has definitely been evolving throughout the years, but uh, currently right now, I am a mother of three beautiful blessings. I have um, Ruby and Valerie and Sebastian. So currently, um, I devote myself to them. So that's who I am. I'm just a mom right now. And also, of course, an emprendedora. Um, that is definitely a, a full-time thing as well that I do. Um, but my main focus, it is just focusing on my kids at all times. Y después viene el negocio. Mm -hmm. Pero uh, for right now that I can say, I am a mom. And so tell us a little bit about, so when we hear Ruby Lou Boutique, we, I can think of all kinds of different things, not knowing what I know, all kinds of different things of what that could be. But like, tell us what is Ruby Lou Boutique? Like, what do you sell? What's your product? So Ruby Lou Boutique, um, of course, we are, uh, we just started about um, going on five years in May. So um, what I pretty much focus on right now is doing my own t-shirts, uh, sweatshirts, um, uh, hoodies, um, cat hats and uh, tote bags so a little bit of everything so that's who is ruby Lou boutique so i created this boutique to have um to have comfortable clothes for moms like you know on the daily like i'm always on the go i live in t-shirts and <laughs> so i'm like so when i became a mom i guess that's where it it began Mm -hmm. um I'm like I don't have I don't have a lot of cute tops so, I'm like, oh my God. so okay so let me just create my own my own shirts let me just start doing my own so um I started off with a lot of uh flannels uh, and other cute little uh clothing for for women you know and slowly but surely I started um making my own t-shirts because I noticed that in pop-ups mm -hmm. uh, they would tell me oh do you make your t-shirts mm -hmm. and I would be very honest I'm like no I don't but that is a goal mm -hmm. and here we are and uh, you know making my own t-shirts some of the designs I do create myself and some of them I do uh get from other other vendors as well mm -hmm. um so that's who Ruby Lou Boutique is, is to go ahead and just have a shop where you could just buy cute stuff that you could just wear on a daily, like on the go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and let me tell you, everybody who's listening, you got to check out Ruby, Ruby Lou Boutique because everything you post, I want to buy. Oh. <laughs> it's so hard not to be like, shop now, shop now, right? Because it is, it's really cute. It's really creative and I feel like has that energy from you as a mom uh, that you like, you put yourself into it, into it, you know? And I think that thoughtfulness shows 
in your brand and, and everything that you do. So I think that's really great. Now, part of the journey, and one of the things we always like to ask people and we want to know more about is how was Cindy? How are you growing up? Like, we want to know a little bit more about like your background, like your childhood. Like, I'd love to ask the question of folks, like, did you always know you wanted to be a business owner? Or was it like, you know, your spirit or your mindset, right? Because there's very specific characteristics to be yeah. an emprendedora because there's this just takes a lot, right? And so, like, tell us a little bit about your childhood and your background. So my childhood, um, I don't think I really had much of a childhood, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, because I was the oldest. I was always in charge. And, um, but when I grew up, of course, I grew up as being a leader, as putting everything in order. And um, growing up, I know that I wanted to be a teacher. Um, that's what I really wanted to do. But then as I got older, I saw a lot of my family having their own business. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I want to have my own business too one day. Because in my eyes, I'm like, my, my family came from Mexico with nothing and they are have they built their their business from nothing mm -hmm. and i just kept on saying that to myself if they could do it i could do it mm -hmm. so as growing up i said no i'm going to do it one day i'm going to do it one day and uh yes i guess i started with that mindset of you know always always being a leader, always knowing what I really wanted, always being a, a, a small business owner because the example from my family members. So that took a, a big a big place in my heart to actually be a, a, a emprendedora. Wow, that's really amazing. Yeah, I think everything you're saying around like seeing your family like have a business or do that, I feel like whether it's directly or indirectly as kids and as we're kind of growing up, like that has an impact on us, right? Like that influences how we are with others, how we, you know, conduct just business on the day to day. Like we take those, I feel like those values, yes. like with us in all aspects. And I think the bit like having a business owner mentality, but also like a family where you would see it modeled and you would be a part of it. I really feel like that's exactly what you're saying. Like it's so infused in your DNA that like whether you were doing this full time or part time, like it's something that's like, you know, you're passionate about, you're committed to and you you have like the qualities to keep pushing, right? Because it's not easy being a business owner. No, it, and it's really, really not. And I did find myself um, actually kind of practicing uh, being an entrepreneur when my for, with my dad my dad what he used to do is he would cater for uh, big parties like weddings quinceañeras baptisms all of that he would actually cook up to uh, 300 350 of a uh, guest wow. so what I would do is that I would actually um, contact um, you know um, the organizer and I would take all of the information down and I, then I would tell mm -hmm. my dad, okay, this is what's going to happen. This is the location. So, so I was kind of like helping him mm -hmm. um, do everything. And he would just take care of the, of the cooking. Yeah. Um, but now that I'm like really thinking about it and thinking back, it's like, I actually started this a long time ago and helping right. him. Yeah. And, um, so that's what my, my dad used to do, but yeah, looking at it, I'm like, that's where it really started, like being yeah. an emprendedora. So it's, I guess it's been a while, but for myself, I did start back in 2017, where I took the initiative to register the name. That's mm -hmm. how it started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. I thought about the name it's it took me a while mm -hmm. but I was pregnant at the time so my baby of course is Ruby and um how the Ruby Lou comes about is they call me Cindy Lou because my name is Cindy so mm -hmm. some people call me Cindy Lou mm -hmm. so I kind of put her name in mine 
kind of mm-hmm. together yeah. to combine it as Ruby Lou. That is so sweet. Yeah, I love to hear that that story, like the like how you came, how the concept was born of like either the business or the name or 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 all of it. There's always a deeper meaning to it. I feel like, and that's the beauty of small business owners, right? Like micro entre- uh, enterprises and entrepreneurs like you is that it comes from a, we know that it comes from a very like honorable place, right? Like you're, you're not um, a big corporation, like what you're doing, you do with such passion and intentionality. And there's a reason even why you named it the way you did. So that's just really awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and I didn't take that much to like, know the name for the Mm -hmm. peak it just it was just very natural because it was just in my heart and it was Mm -hmm. a connection between me and her Mm -hmm. so but that's where it started I said I said to myself one day I was off because I was working full-time at that time and I I was off that day I think it was like on a Thursday and I just randomly went to City Hall and I said I'm just gonna register I'm just I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just, this is, this is what I like. This is the name of a business that one day I would like, Mm -hmm. and I don't want nobody to take it. So there I went, I'm like, okay, I did it. And that's the beginning. That's so awesome. Well, I think you point on, you hit on something really important, which is, it's just taking that first step, right? Like for you, it was going to city hall and registering the name for some folks. It's like, just start your social media account. Just start posting something. It's for someone else. It's start helping your friend with their business so you can learn, right? Like it just takes one small step um, for you to get started. And I think sometimes for like the women that are listening that are in that place where they're anticipating, right? Like maybe they don't have a business yet, but they're really wanting to do something and they're just like have a fear or unsure. It's like time and time again, we hear women just share like this is what I did and it's like what you're sharing which is like I took this one step and sometimes that's all you need right to like get it going yes because I believe me I had I thought about it for so long Mm -hmm. um when I really knew I wanted like a boutique of my own it was at the age of 18 um I just like I just knew it I'm like I don't know what it is but I just know it's something um (laughs) And yeah, in 2017, that's when I'm, I just said to myself, I'm just going to do it. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I did do a little bit of research of uh, where to go and things like that. So I just went. And after that, it did take me about two years to actually launch like mm-hmm. a website. Yeah. And- and, you know yeah. a little bit of a add clothing to it and things like that yeah. but um it doesn't happen overnight it's mm-hmm. it really does take a, a, a slow and steady steps yeah. you know yeah. to get there but the first step I think it's the most uncomfortable mm. uh, uncertain mm-hmm. feeling and un- unsure but it's it feels so good when I did do that I got mm-hmm. my little I pay like $23 I got my little uh paper saying mm-hmm. that I own this name uh I was like oh my god yeah this is mine and yeah. it feels so good yeah like it's real it's right here in front of me <laughs> like it's, something's happening I don't know <laughs> something yeah. yeah so tell, tell us a little bit about how you like infuse motherhood into your business like when you think about the greater purpose or mission of your business how do you like infuse cultura familia motherhood like how does that all like how do you integrate that into your business or like how is that influence how you run your business or what your business is all about oh that is a, a huge, um, <laughs> there's a lot of questions in one. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many things I want to answer all at once. Um, but what, so the, my mission, uh, for the boutique is to actually have a storefront one day. And so I could be able to pass it down to my mm-hmm. girls. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And just to implement the example that si se puede, tu puedes. Yeah. You know, con un granito, little by little, un granito at a time, mm -hmm. we are able to, you know, make things happen. So I do make them involved with me. They do help me mm -hmm. um, because I, and I always implement, this is going to be yours. Okay. Mm. Can I be your Ruby and Valerie's shop one day? That's if you would like to, you know, keep keep it going. Uh, but I always dreamed of when me being a mother, I said to myself, yo les quiero dar algo. I, I want to give something. I want to leave something to my kids. Um, because, I, of course, my parents... I mean, they came from a very poor, um, you know, uh, from Mexico. They were very poor. Until this day, I mean, it's not like they could give us a lot. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to break that little chain and really work so, so hard so I could give them something, mm -hmm. you know, to look forward to. So there's a lot of practice in culture as well. I don't treat them like, oh, here it is. This is for you. You, of course, just give them anything. No, I want them to work for mm. what they want. Mm -hmm. um, and they, I do take them to pop-ups at times as well. Mm -hmm. um, my oldest, she is very, very sassy. <laughs> say, hi, welcome to Ruby the Boutique. And we have this and we have that. <laughs> she has a little bit of me in there. Uh -huh. It's just so natural. Yeah. And um, I do want her to continue to be involved because she likes it. She oh, mm -hmm. whenever I'm in the office, she's like, "Mommy, can I help you?" And mm -hmm. I I never say no, mm -hmm. even though I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm just gonna get behind on time." But mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let you do this, you do that. But I just want her to continue wanting to help me. Yeah, I don't know if I answered that question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I love that. And I feel like that is definitely something we see when you're sharing again, like your business journey, because I, I think it's so beautiful how you share, you don't just share your business again, and like what you're selling, you sell the journey, you show the journey that you're going through. And I feel like that really resonates with people because that's more of what we want to see. It's like, we want to know what, what is hard. We want to know what has worked. We want to celebrate with you you know and so what what are it doesn't have to be any one thing but what is what are you most proud of up to this point with who you are who have you become and your business and kind of where it is today uh what am i hmm, most so proud of <laughs> yeah um, share them all no. <laughs> Uh, I am very proud of actually um, starting. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have it in here and in here, but they there's no action to it. So I'm very proud of that. I actually did start. Um, also, I'm very proud of devoting myself mm -hmm. uh, day and night. Mm -hmm. even though I am very exhausted, mm -hmm. but I keep going. Yeah. Regardless, if I haven't slept, if I've cared for my kids, I have an order, I get to it. So I'm very proud that I'm capable of mm. having that energy and having that spirit to keep going. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and the last thing is I'm very proud of letting my corporate job go mm. um, after 16 years. Wow. You know, having a steady income one day after another, I just felt that I really had to care for my kids a mm hundred -hmm. uh, percent mm -hmm. and focus more on the boutique. Yeah. So I was very proud that I actually made that step too. So there's a lot of things that I've taken steps to that they're so scary. Yeah. But I'm proud that I do. Um, Cause it's not easy. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna do some snaps for that. Yeah, we're proud of you too. And I'm so happy that you're proud of yourself because I feel like that's the most important, right? You you being proud of how far you've come 
and just having a vision for the future too. So like, what, what do you have that you can share? Cause you don't have to tell us any secrets that are still in the world. <laughs> what, what do you have? Like, what's your vision for your business? Like, where do you see, or where would you like to take it? Like in the next five to 10 years, I know you mentioned the storefront, but is there anything else in terms of the vision for, for the business? Yes. Um, uh, yes, actually. Um, so I've envisioned, yes, a storefront, but I've always dreamed of having a coffee shop. Ooh. So mi sueño es de tener una tiendita, mm -hmm. right? Y tener un coffee shop. Oh, I love it. Me, as me, as a mom, I mean, you want to just, you know, go to a cool spot and, you know, comadrear. And I'm like, what if you could just go to a shop plus a coffee shop? Yes. So I envision like a coffee shop with like sofas, but a little shop on the side. You know, if you I just... love it. So that is my big, big vision. Yeah. So I know I, I, me and my sister were talking about a coffee shop. So believe me, it's, it's in our minds and in yeah. our hearts. So we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen, but that's my big vision. Yes. Well, as long as you, that's your, what your plan is and you want it, you need to manifest it. It's going to happen. You know, we're going to send you all the good vibras so yes. that, you know, <laughs> you continue to have that beautiful vision. I think that's beautiful. I love how you continue to just think about mothers and your own motherhood journey as part of that business plan or business model and vision for the future is that you know, that's something very unique. I feel like, and you're right. I would love to go to your boutique and know that at the same time, I can get some delicious cafecito. Yes, please sign me up. <laughs> yeah, because I just feel like being moms, like we don't really have spots to go mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that would be something, yeah, something a little different that, you know, hey, any mom could kind of do a little getaway, you know, just to and grab a cafecito on the, on yeah. the Yes. I love that. I totally love that. Well, I wish that for you. I, you know, uh, and anything we can do to support you in that, please let us know you, you have a community. And this is one of the things we love about Bella is that the purpose is to build the community, right? Of support. Because I always tell women, you know, we can, we can um, host a class or we can have an event, right? But what happens after that is what really matters, right? Like, the relationships that are built, the support system, the learning that then is implemented, right? And so for us, that's really important. And so we want you to know that you have a community that embraces you and that loves you. And we're here to support you on, on that vision and just your journey, you know, your whole journey. So um, definitely count on us. Um, and, and as we're talking about the journey, um, one of the things that, that we didn't mention, but I want to make sure we, we talk a little bit about it too, is you know, the challenges that come with you, you've touched on it a little bit, you know, you've mentioned a little here and there, the fact that there are challenges, but if you can share like a, a struggle or a challenge you encountered and how you work through it, or if maybe it's something you're, you know, right now, how are you working through it? You know, I think that's important to bring the light because again, there's a lot of um, entrepreneurs se sienten de caídas, you know, they're like, se echan por vencida, like it's too hard. That's a, you know, it's like, we want to be able to motivate and inspire each other, right. To keep going. And so if you don't mind sharing, you know, a challenge that you've encountered. Um, yes. Um, believe me, there's still challenges to this day. Um, but, uh, what I have encountered is uh, getting through the day. Mm -hmm. and getting through the day of being a full-time mom and doing all the household stuff mm -hmm. plus on top of getting orders done mm -hmm. it's just um, time management to be honest with you and, and even like a little quick mental break even five minutes mm -hmm. and I just close closing my eyes sometimes taking a deep breath it helps me it mm -hmm. really does and then I just kind of talked to myself I was like okay I need to reset let's just get this going but it is it is a lot it takes a really toll on you um but it's just really 
putting yourself in in a good mental uh, space even though I know that it's really hard doing the whole mommy stuff and mm -hmm. everything but um what I do find is yes taking a quick five little mini breather break I guess you could say um getting out of the house really quick taking a quick little walk in front and kind of it, it, it just helps me to reset Mm -hmm. to kind of refocus sometimes I'm working on the computer I'm trying to think about so many things and at one point I just get so frustrated so I just walk away and I, again I just just kind of like a reset yeah um, but yeah it's time management and knowing that we have to reset walk away mm -hmm. I love that yeah and little habits right because habits. we don't sometimes we think about like even the word mental health is like a big like word, right? Or words. And so sometimes we think about having like an overwhelming challenge and we don't know where to start. We feel it's too big to tackle. Like what, like, where do we go? What do we do? And I, I feel like you all, you just shared, right? A good first step is to just do like, take a minute, you know, it, it doesn't have to be something that's going to change your whole trajectory in one in like from night to day you know so yeah it's just little things that make a big big difference you know mm -hmm. and that's what helped me mm -hmm. that I, I'm constantly stepping away sometimes because I have no other choice but to step <laughs> away because of my kids yeah. but it does help me to kind of regroup myself and um and kind of get a more of a clear mind yeah mm -hmm. Definitely. That's, that's really great. And so what advice would you have for like women that are starting their business or that are thinking about starting a business? Like what would be maybe those like one or two golden nuggets that you want to share with, with them? Um, I guess I could say that just start small. Mm -hmm. Don't, um, don't expect a lot. Don't do a lot, just a little bit a day. Um, that's how I started. Um, I would actually get online, do some research for about maybe 20, 30 minutes and wrote notes. And then the next day I came back, maybe 15 minutes, mm -hmm. do another research on something else. Mm -hmm. And just like that, just do baby steps. Um, doing baby steps, they do go a long, long way. Just because like that, you yourself don't get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. because, you know being an entrepreneur and starting your small business it is so so much information yeah from everywhere and it does get very overwhelming so I did find myself to kind of write things down what I wanted to research on what's the next step I wanted to do and then the next day I would do a little bit of research not yeah. overwhelm myself too much but just a few minutes a day and um, that's my big, big advice. And just keep going. Just, I mean, keep going. <laughs> no, that's just por vencida, como dices, échale ganas. <laughs> échale ganas, porque puedes. Yes. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Well, thank you so much for, for that counsel, that advice. And as we're kind of closing down our time together and, and learning all about you and your business, what are your, like, words of wisdom that you want to leave folks with um what what is it that you want to maybe share that you, we didn't talk about or or something about you that you want people to know or what are your, or words of wisdom that you have to share with folks um every day is a new fresh day that you could start and it's a blessing to wake up so if you're able to to think about it and have it in your heart just keep going and just start mm -hmm. just start I love it I love that just just get it going a little step get it started I love it nice and simple that's beautiful thank you so much for taking the time I know you have a lot going on and your kids might be knocking on your door and you have you know 10 million orders you have to fill <laughs> so I appreciate you taking this time with us Thank you so much. Honestly, this was such a pleasure. Thank you. I enjoyed it. 
enjoyed uh, all of these uh, questions. So I really thank you very much for having me here. Awesome. Well, thank you, Cindy, and everyone that's watching. Make sure you follow Ruby Lou Boutique and you uh, share and enjoy and celebrate Cindy's journey with her. And again, we're here for you, everyone, familia. Thank you so much for listening. And until next time, adios.